are dog people. They've always had their own dogs, and they've always taken care of their friends' dogs. What they once did as a favor turned into a way of life when the couple started a dog adventure camp where they spend all day running and playing with dozens of dogs in a job that is fun, fulfilling, and soon could make them famous as the subjects of a TV series about them and their camp. The intention was to change careers. Creating their perfect job was an accident. I was like, I'll watch like, I don't know, like four or five dogs, like, and, and we'll see how it goes. That was two years and several dozen dogs ago for Chelsea and Corey Henneman, who operate a dog adventure camp at their home in Pooler every day, seeing every one of their 18 acres of trails, ponds, and woods with as many as 50 dogs at a time. They run around, they have fun, everybody feeds off everybody's energy. They get muddy and swim and hike and four-wheel and kayak. <laughs> About it, a year into that yeah. process, she came to me and said, listen, if we need a dog bus, if you want to go get a dog bus, find one and start picking them up, uh, we can make this work where I don't need to work for somebody else. Okay, ready pups? Let's go. The dog bus quickly became the face of the Henneman's business, increasing their camp's capacity and changing their lives. As he drives by, it's like always a double take, like what? what just drove by those aren't those aren't kids Corey gets in the bus by 6 30 every morning and drives to savannah where he picks up dogs who are waiting for him from river street to isle of hope back in pooler he and chelsea a former vet tech spend all day at work playing with dogs before washing and blow drying each one and then dropping them off at home which can take until after nine at night they are long days and the hennemans love every minute of oh absolutely yeah our whole goal was one day to start something that had to do with animals we knew it was too much we were too good naturally good at just being around dogs you can be in like wake up on a monday and it is rainy and gross out and you're like they're this like they're splashing through the mud and having a blast and so it just it it puts you right back up to a 10. you know you're in the right job if you're enjoying rainy days so. a lot more people could soon be getting in on the secret they have figured out Candace Nelms, initially a dog adventure camp client, is now shooting a TV series about the Hennemans, their camp, and the real stars of the soon-to-be shopped reality show, Running the Pack. We had an idea of the story, but when you when you get here and 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 there's dogs involved, the the story it, it unfolds in front of you, and they're the ones who tell you what it's going to be, and so you kind of carve as you go. So the couple whose camp had a waiting list before it had an actual name who don't put their phone number on the side of their dog bus because they already get too many calls, could soon be even more popular than ever when the whole world can see how much fun they are having. That's what we're trying to capture is, that is, is exactly the magic that we're trying to make tangible in the show is to, to show that and see that. We're still getting used to the idea. Yeah. So thinking about like, uh, people actually want to see like what our day is like is uh, still, Still a little, little weird. Yeah, but, uh, a lot weird. Definitely exciting. Like we have no clue about mics and cameras or any of the process of anything. So it was, we're like, we'll just go just for the journey of it, see where it goes. Why not? And so that's that's where we that's where we landed. That's where we still kind of. Where it could go is to a lot of people envying on, the life on, the Hennemans have made for themselves, and a lot of happy dogs. I, I don't want to be cocky, but they wouldn't, wouldn't be wrong it's 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 a blast it's if you like outside and trails and doing everything outdoors and being surrounded by you know by dirty and fun it's it's you know it's perfect <laughs> it's perfect for us <laughs> that is so awesome now before you ask your first question they are full they are at capacity they have a waiting list that is almost full as well um, but they they try to get as many dogs in as they can uh, they're just Right, right now, now with just the two, two of them, them until, until they are they able, able to expand, expand get a little bit more staff, staff they're, they're kind of hamstrung in how many, how many dogs they can fit. But man, sure. the dogs, what a blast they have. They look like they're having so much fun. I feel bad. Like, I feel like I need to go home and say sorry to Kaiser. Like, he just watched this and I'm going to be like, I'm so sorry, honey. They're full. I don't know what to do. They just look so free, you know? They're, they're having a great time. And, and, yeah, and, 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 and they, they get along. All the dogs get along well. So much land, so many activities. Yeah, yeah. The key that really got me and took it over the top was the bathing before they drop them off. Because it's one thing, get your dog back, you know, sometimes yeah. they smell like dog and slob all over them. Yeah, when get a clean dog on the way Everybody back. that I know that sends their dog there said that the dog comes home is 
cleaner than, than he went to the camp, camp. I sure. love that. And is Clean wiped out. Tuckered out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he sleeps all night. That's the so the show is, is not uh, doesn't have a deal yet, but they're shooting a pilot. They will have the pilot completed soon, and then they're going to shop it around, maybe a streaming ser uh, service, something like that. But uh, we should, could be seeing a whole lot more of the Hennemans and all those dogs here pretty soon. That is really cool. Oh, I got to get them in. I got to get them in. Well, coming up, Smaller.